Hey guys, welcome back to another video on Excel tables. And if you haven't been joining me, I've been doing a few different videos on Excel tables. And today, um, after using tables for using uh, doing dynamic data validation uh, and also showing you how to create structured references and then just kind of explaining how Excel tables work in general, today what I'm going to show you is why they're so useful with your pivot tables. Uh, typically, if uh, you use a standard data set and you create a pivot table out of that data set what's going to happen is your data range is not going to remain dynamic and again what this is going to do it's going to allow our data range to be dynamic so that if you add additional records you simply need to refresh your pivot table as opposed to change your data source uh, with your pivot table so without further ado i'm going to jump into this uh, and i'm going to show you how quickly how we can use a uh, pivot table with a table. So if you hop over to the table tools, instead of going to the insert tab, which is typically what you do after selecting your data set, you're going to head over to the design tab. And what we're going to do is we're going to just simply click summarize with a pivot table. It's going to automatically bring this up and we're going to want to say, um, in this case, I'm going to say an existing worksheet instead of creating a new worksheet that you see down here under the section. We're going to pop over to calculations because I've already got a bunch of stuff set up over there. And what I'll do is I'll just put it in uh, M3 here, and I'm going to hit OK. Perfect. So now that we have this pivot table, we can say, OK, uh, consulting fees. That'll be the name of our pivot table. And now we're simply going to say, OK, let's go add a contractor or consultant's name. And what we're going to want to do is then summarize that consultants, uh, each consultant's total expenditures for the year. And that would include all your records. And then of course you can come in here and just change the value settings to then go update your number format, change the number over to a currency, and then just hit OK. And that would kind of clean things up over here. So now that we've done that, what I can do to show you that this is now dynamic, we're going to pop over back to our table on the data set file. We're going to hit control shift down. That's going to bring me all the way down to the end. And I'm going to hit control shift to the right. And, oh, and that brings me all the way to the last record. If you hit control end, I think that would also work. If you go control and end on this keyboard I'm trying to find it anyway give it a shot at home if we go yeah control and it'll bring you right to the last cell of your data set just like I showed there so now let's go tab uh, actually let's go back up one cell and what we're going to do is now we're gonna hit tab at the end of our data set as I showed you in our first video and now that we've done that we can create a new record so we're gonna just say 2014 let's just say it's operating uh, city C we'll say and we'll just say info and technology and we'll say accounting just to make this easy uh, quick tip on this too you can hit control D and it's going to copy the cell above let's just say it was the same day as the one above as well uh, contract PO would be different so let's just put in some random number there uh, and here's the consultant's name here. This is the one that we want to update accordingly. So I'm just going to say Brad Edgar Consulting. And then we'll just say worked hard for us. Which makes no sense for the type of work, but we're going to just leave it at that. And we're going to say that they paid me a million dollars for that. Which is awesome. I wish that was actually true. All right, so now that we've done that, I'm just going to hit delete on that new row that I accidentally added by hitting the tab button. Now we're going to just pop back over to our calculations tab. And we're simply going to select anywhere within our data set. You can either click right click and then hit refresh here uh, up at the top. Or what you can do is then go to the design tab or I'm sorry, the analyze tab. Just hit refresh. And what you're going to see now is that Brad Edgar is now added to our list of consultants. Perfect. So that's basically what tables allow you to do. If you were to have a standard data set, what you'd need to do is actually go to change data source. You'd have to update the data source. Because this is dynamic and because we're using a table, it's allowing us to have a dynamic pivot table. 
Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to leave comments below, and we will see you next time. Thank you.